Good evening. It took the loss of yet another minister, but Malcolm Turnbull has started the year with a bang, finally sacking Susan Lee and putting an end to rorting politicians forever. Well, for more than 100 years, MPs have had their noses in the trough, but from now on, an independent authority will have the final say on every single dollar they spend. And that is just the beginning. Jonathan Lee joins us now from Canberra with the latest on this story. Jonathan, everyone would say it's about time, yes? Good evening, guys. Well, pressure, as you say, has been building on the Prime Minister to act all week, and today he did. He didn't just announce the end of Susan Lee's Cabinet career, but one of the biggest pieces of expense reform in our nation's history. It means from now on we should know exactly where the politicians are spending our money, every cent of it, and we'll find out every month. If the Prime Minister made a New Year's resolution, axing his Health Minister surely wasn't on his list. Today I've received notice from the Honourable Susan Lee of her intention to resign as the Minister for Health, Ageing and Sport. More than a week since the travel entitlement scandal blew into a full-scale firestorm that burnt both sides of politics, Malcolm Turnbull finally acted, jettisoning the Minister and implementing the biggest MP entitlements reform in our history. The government believes that the work exp expenses of parliamentarians, including ministers, should be administered and overseen by an independent agency. Australia's richest Prime Minister shutting down the gravy train for good. The Independent Parliamentary Expense Authority will be similar to the one in the UK and will force MPs to publicly declare every cent they've spent every month. We should be, as politicians, backbenchers and ministers, we should be as careful and as accountable with taxpayers' money as we possibly can be. We are dealing with other people's money. For a week, MPs and ministers have ducked and dodged. Even today, Malcolm Turnbull's trade minister was defending the indefensible. I'm sorry, but the reason I was invited isn't because I'm Steve Chobo. I was invited because I'm the trade minister. On Monday, Susan Lee protested her innocence, despite revelations she'd bought an $800,000 Gold Coast pad while on official business. It was the straw that broke the camel's back. And I'm very confident that the investigations will demonstrate that no rules were broken whatsoever. Even today, she refused to apologise. Whilst I have attempted at all times to be meticulous with the rules and standards, I accept community annoyance, even anger. I wholeheartedly support the reforms. So too does the opposition. We'll work with him to get a strong and effective uh, set of reforms for parliamentarians' expenses. Now, this reform comes on top of the recommendations still to be implemented following the fallout of the Bronwyn Bishop Choppergate affair. All that time ago, the Prime Minister, though, says this takes the utmost importance. Legislation will most likely have to be drafted and introduced to Parliament. How long all of that takes, though, well, that remains to be seen. Jonathan Lee in Canberra, thank you.